In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a flight map from start to finish. And I'll also give you some tips and tricks that you might need to get your map looking just like you want it to. So the first thing that you're going to do is come down here to create your map. And then in the upper left hand corner, you want to make sure air trip is selected. And then the map comes preloaded with a flight route from Nashville to Japan. So the first thing that you're probably going to want to do is edit your route to be whatever trip you want to display on your map. And I think what would be best is I'm going to walk you through a simple flight all the way from start to finish, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll get a little fancier. So let's go ahead and change this up. Let's say instead of starting in Nashville, you start in California in Los Angeles. So you can either search for an airport by searching for the city name. Sorry about that, Los Angeles, not Los Angeles. And then the airport will come up here and you can select it. Or you can just type in the airport code, which is LAX and select it. Either one of them will help you find the airport. And then let's say you flew from LAX to JFK in New York. And then instead of going to Tokyo, you went to Rome. So again, here's another example. FCO is Rome's major international airport, or you can search Rome and you'll see some other airports that are displayed um, or that are located inside of the city of Rome. So FCO. So now we have our simple flight map and we'll play around with this. So as you can see, I moved from the left hand editor over here to actually editing things on the map. So you can actually grab this map, move it around and position it just like you want to. And then you can use these plus and minus buttons up here to zoom in and out on the map. Or if you wanna get a little more precision, if you're on a laptop, you can pinch and zoom the map to zoom it in and out. Or if you have a mouse, you can use the scrolly wheel thing and so you can drag it around, zoom in it in and out, and get it exactly like you want. So let's just leave it here for now. And then you can edit the text down here to be anything you want. Let's just say 2020 flight route. And then add whatever you want down here. It could be the airports that you visited, or maybe you want to add the city names down here. So you, but pretty much you can just type anything that you want. And then the next thing that you might want to do is move your labels around because you can see how this is kind of touching the line. All you have to do is just grab that label with your mouse and you can move it anywhere on the entire map. So you probably don't want to move it all the way up there. So I'll put it back down here and then let's just put all of the labels underneath so that it looks consistent. And then the other thing that you might want to do, I'm a little bit of an airport nerd, so I enjoy the airport codes, but if you'd rather have the name of the city or if you'd rather have those points say anything, you can edit those by toggling this from edit locations to edit labels. So here, now I'm changing what you see on the map to the name of the city. So. Anything you type here will show up on the map. The other thing that you can do is you can actually completely delete something. So if you don't want to show an airport code or the name, or if you have a lot of different flight groups on your map, sometimes it's good to just take those completely out so it doesn't get too cluttered. You can just completely delete it. But I'm going to go ahead and, and add the airport codes back in because I like those. And then... We'll come back here to edit locations and let's add one more flight. Let's say you went to Paris, airport code CDG. So now we have our route map. We've moved it around. We've gotten a position just like we like. And the other thing that you might want to do is flip the map. Um, so if you'd rather have a, a vertical map, you can just toggle down here, here from vertical to horizontal but when you toggle back and forth it does kind of move things around a little bit so we'll we'll zoom it back in and let's say 
that's perfect for us. Step one is done. This is kind of the base of your map. So we're going to come up here to the customize tab and move on to step two. And this is where you can select the layout of your map. We have six different layouts to choose from. So you can just kind of click through here and see what tickles your fancy, what you like. Uh, I don't necessarily have one that I like more than others. It kind of all depends on the map that I create that I'm creating, uh, which one I think looks best. So I kind of like this border on this one. So let's say this is the layout that we like. Again, um, you can actually you can move this map around or the labels around uh, through any step. So if the layout kind of shifts what you were thinking as far as how it should look, you can easily edit that during every step. And then after you get the layout that you want, you can come down here and you can choose from eight different color schemes that we have. I'm just going to stick with the original one that we were editing. And then the last step, you just want to come over here and click frame and finish. And then this is where you choose the size of your map. We have three different sizes to choose from. And then you can also select the type of frame that you would that you want to use to frame your poster. And then the frames, a little preview of those frames displays down here as you change it. So we have metal frames, wood frames, and hangers. And if you want to get a little better view of those, you can click on it and make that picture bigger. Now, this is just a stock image that's displayed inside of the frame. So don't worry, the map that you designed is what you're going to get. You're not going to get the stock image that's in the frame. And then after you've chosen your map size, your hanger, and then you choose the color of your frame, the quantity that you want, and then you can add it to cart. And then from here, you can place your order and check out. But like I said, I want to show you how to get a little fancier with this. So we're going to come back and we're going to edit our custom map. So now we're back in the editor. And one thing that I wanted to show is that you are actually able to do round trip flights and you can route back through your origin airport. So let's say from Paris, we flew back to LAX, but we flew through Dallas on the way back. So we'll put in DFW and then LAX. And now you have your round trip flight that originally took you from Los Angeles to JFK, to Rome, to Paris. Then on the way back, you stopped in Dallas and ended up back in LA. So the cool thing is you can actually add more than one trip. So let's say after you get back from that trip, if you wanted to like map your flights for an entire year, maybe you flew to Mexico. So we'll put the Cancun airport in. So that's a new trip. And then if that was a direct flight and then you wanted to fly straight back to LAX, then you can just add your home airport again, and then you can keep doing this. Let's put in Seattle, and then add your home airport again, if that's the way you came home. And you can keep showing multiple trips on the same map. And then another cool thing you can do is, let's say for some reason there was a trip that you didn't take out of your home airport, you can actually show a completely separate flight. So if you just click add another location twice, you want to leave this extra search bar here. So let's say for some reason you started a flight in Miami and then from Miami you flew to Madrid, Spain. As you can see that flight shown up right here and it's not connected to anything else. And that's because we left this, this search bar right here. So that's kind of how you can get more complicated with your routing. Um, the other fun thing that I wanted to show you was if you want to calculate miles flown because you're a little bit of a nerd like me, that's something that we don't do yet, but I'll show you a site where you can easily calculate the miles that you've flown. So we use that same example. You just type in airport codes and then a dash. So if you're flying from LAX to JFK to FCO, back through DFW and then to LAX. After you've typed in all of your airports, you hit distance and then this shows you that that flight route was 13,601 miles. So we can come back here and then we can type down here 13,601 miles. 
So those are just a few ways that you can get a little more creative with your map. Hopefully you've found that helpful and you can get on here and you can create something that's worthy of being hung on your wall.